All right, making a video here on this uh, VQ37 370Z motor. Um, a lot of guys are having problems uh, setting their uh, VVEL motors. Now, I'm not talking about the sensors, but that's going to lead us down another path as to why you can't get the sensor in range. So, um, what a lot of guys are doing is they're uh, putting in some, uh, some Jim Wolf technology camshafts, some exhaust camshafts. And the problem that you have is that, you know, when you look at the factory literature for the FSM, they say that it never removed the uh, VVEL motor control from the control shaft, uh, you know, whenever you pull out the uh, cam ladder tower to uh, change out your exhaust cams. So um, that's not really a possibility in almost all situations. For instance, uh, one example would be trying to do it in the car. Um, you'll never be able to pull this entire assembly intact. Um, also, too, uh, I think out of the car, it's also a problem. And then it also leads you to potentially messing up the job whenever you're putting applying the liquid sealant to the tower system. So um, what I've done is a kind of a simple man fix. So the problem with this system is that from the factory the control cam has a 5.5 degree inclination that's uh there to compensate for i'm guessing the lack of accuracy in the actual control motor arm so what you're actually doing watch this move You see how that moves? So if you don't get this mechanically adjusted right, basically your camshafts are just not degreed correctly. So you can do all the adjustments in the world with the actual sensor, but mechanically it's not within time. So you can see that slop right there. So <clears throat> what I did to come up with a fix was, um, now whenever you're making these adjustments, just know that you need to roll it up on number one top dead center then you can make an adjustment to bank two. In order to make an adjustment to bank one, you need to rotate the crankshaft 120 degrees, about a third of the way around, and then this other control shaft will unlock and allow you to uh, make that adjustment. So what I was doing, take my measuring device right here, and it was, let's see if I still got it on. So that is what you want. You want 1.585 is the dimensions that you're about to make an adjustment. So what we found was is that if I go ahead and I lock that cam like this, so just so you effectively know what I did, I took a bone stock engine, I rolled it up to number one top dead center, I locked both of these cams. Now you know there's supposed to be a, a gap right there, but I'm gonna show you how I get that. So I lock both of these cams like that, and then keeping my Allen heads on the uh, control arm in the back loose, what I do is I will move the actual motor around until I can get this on the edge of that to right here. If you can get this gap 1.585 inches while still keeping the cam down like this, your adjustment is correct. Tighten it down. So um, what I was doing was I was actually using a crescent wrench and then locking the cam that way so that no way that it can possibly back up on me. And um, it's, it's not that bad to do on the driver's side, but when you go over to the passenger side, it's gonna be kind of, a, kind of a pain in the ass. You can see how that would be really hard to get up in there. But, so all you guys that had to pull your VVEL motors, if you don't put it back into this semi-factory location, you are not ever gonna be able to get the sensor itself within range. So that's, I think, a lot of the problems that guys are having. Um, with their uh, VVEL setup is that they pull that motor and then they just don't know what to do. So if you can set it up like that, you'll have pretty good success. I've done this on a few of them so far and it seems to work just fine. So um, 
you know basically you can also manipulate that motor control arm um, to get what you want out of it you can also wibble wobble the camshaft around or the control cam to kind of get it to move into a certain place that you want keeping your hardware loose get that 1.585 right on the edge of that right there and uh, lock down those allen heads and then you have synchronized your control cam with your VVEL motor. Then once you've done that, then you go through the whole process, depending on if you have a console or if you're running ECU tech, um, you're gonna go through the whole process of uh, actually um, setting the VVEL sensor with the two 10 millimeters. Um, you know, you're gonna be pulling the VVEL relay, um, um, unplugging the harnesses, going, you know, this is like a whole process. You have to read into that, I'm not gonna make a video about it, but um, once you do that, then you can get your um, 500 millivolts or whatever you need um, to make this thing work right. And um, <clears throat> I've done uh, a few of these like this. I've had them as high as 780 something horsepower uh, with twin turbos. So uh, this seems to work. Um, if you're fully building an engine and you have run into this problem, this is, seems to be the easy guy fix.